Rub up your engines! A brand new Mitsubishi Outlander. They call them compact crossovers, but I don't know. If you look at the difference and the luxury inside, personally, I just call it an SUV myself. I mean, look at the size of the wheels. And in this pandemic, he paid less. They didn't put on a $5,000, $10,000 fee and all that BS. Realize it is a fancy one. He paid $38,000 for it. Mitsubishi is a very interesting company. It's a huge corporation. They put a lot of technology into their cars that the older Mitsubishi didn't really have. This is basically got the third generation CVT. Now the early ones had a lot of problems. They had to recall them for blowing up. It's got a four cylinder 2.5 liter engine. So a decent size, not some little tiny turbo. And with the CVT transmission, this is an all wheel drive. He gets 40 miles a gallon on a highway. You can't beat that in an SUV. And he gets it because of what's under the hood. Inline 2.5 liter. The thing runs fine. It's got plenty of zip. 40 miles a gallon for an SUV when he's going 60. The engine's only ticking over like a thousand RPMs. That's how it gets such phenomenal gas mods. And it's not a gimmick. Like some of the GMs, they turn the cylinders off or they have a little two liter engine with a turbo. This is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. Tried and true. Think about Mitsubishis. I've had customers through the ages have good engines in Mitsubishis. The problems were their automatic transmissions decades ago. They were garbage. Then the early CVTs, 2016, they had to recall them. If you're gonna buy a used one of these, do a little research before you buy a used one because this is the latest generation and so far it's had no problems at all. But speaking of problems, let's say you're worry worn. The car itself comes with a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, right? But this guy's no fool. He bought it at a dealer in Massachusetts, Cornerstone, and they were really nice. For absolutely nothing, you'd have to pay extra for it. You got a 10 year, 100,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. Now for ages, Kia, Hyundai, the Korean guys, were given 10 year, 100,000 mile warranties. It bit them in the rear end. They had so many engines and transmission blown up. That cost them a fortune. We don't know yet. This is new, right? He hasn't had any problems with it yet. And I gotta say, the Mitsubishi engineers have some pretty interesting technology. They didn't go too far. If you saw the video I did a few weeks ago, Nissan with their variable compression engine, that instead of the piston being on a piston rod going up and down, the piston rods are cantilever, three different pieces run by hydraulics and computers. A bit too much technology. And when that breaks, poof, you could say goodbye to your wallet, if anybody can even fix it. Where on the other hand, this is a conventional four cylinder inline engine with regular pistons. It's not some squirrely crazy design. And of course it's a modern design. Everything's metal in there. Just change your oil every 5,000 miles and use that GF6 oil. That's all you gotta do to maintain these things. They're not extremely high revving. Going 60 is going 1,000 RPMs. That's not gonna wear the engine out. You never know how long these things are gonna last. The other day, I had a Mazda 6. It had 266,000 miles on it. It still didn't burn any oil. And this thing, we'll see over the years if I last and he lasts, and then somebody doesn't run into him and destroy the car. Mitsubishi's always did make pretty good engines. Way, way back in the past. Their engines are good, but they had cheap piston rings and they all burn oil. Well, they don't do it anymore. They finally wised up and figured out how to make the piston rings. So that's not something you gotta worry about that. It doesn't burn any oil at all. And it's got very stylish wheels. This is the fancy package, 20 inch rims. They really look nice. You don't want the low, low profile ones like they put on BMWs. Well, they used to put on BMWs. They're too rough of a ride. Now, he does have a complaint, though. The original tires it came with, he said, were crap. They wore out before 20,000 miles. They just flat wore out. Now, that's a minus. He's happy with these tires, but I mean, the other ones, they only lasted 20,000. So, shame on you, Mitsubishi, for putting cheap tires on this otherwise pretty nice SUV. Now, we'll go inside and check it out before we take it for a spin. And as we look around, it has a phenomenal dual sunroof. I mean, it really looks nice. Close the door. That's a solid sounding door, except he's got stuff in it. That's just rattling. There's nothing wrong with a car. If you like the look, look at this. Look at the paddle shifters. 
Yeah. Well, I just have one thing to say about the paddle shifters. It is a CVT transmission. It has no gears, but it has a fake six-speed transmission that you can shift it six times by either messing with the paddle shifter or playing with a shifter here. But he never uses it. He's happy the way it is. But really, if you look at it, it really looks cool, you know? It looks like a Formula One race car with these cool little paddle shifters on it. He's already put on 33,000 miles and he's real happy with it. And you can see it's got a pretty big screen. Yeah, it's not integrated with the dash, but uh, that's the way it goes these days. There's all kinds of stuff you can go through on these, play around with them, serious, you name it, whatever you want to mess around with. If you're a real fanatic, okay, it doesn't have air-conditioned seats. It only has heated seats. <laughs> I just like air-conditioned seats, and my wife hates it. She gets this chill going up her behind. She doesn't like it at all, and I'm not that big of a fan of it myself. See, with the transmission setup, you can go many ways. Eco, normal rain snow it truly is an intelligent computer run transmission and engine system right he doesn't really have to worry because he's got a hundred thousand mile coverage on it he bought it brand new that's not something he's gonna have to worry about so far it's worked perfectly fine and when we look at the back seat i still don't understand why they call it a compact crossover look at all the room you have in the back here it is not compact by any stretch of the imagination the back has heating and air conditioning adjustments and inside the trunk you got a nice trunk area and of course the seats can be folded forwards to get even more space stick a lot of junk in here too if you want and it even has third row seats hiding in here he's got them down because he's putting all his stuff in here now granted you're gonna be a little bit neglected in the third row seat <laughs> you're gonna be looking at that tiny little hole right which if you really want to know the truth of the matter that's why they call it a compact crossover because it's compact for the third row seat but hey as we look at the sticker it's my favorite thing it's a Motor corporation but it's made in japan see j is the first one that means it's made in japan relatively quiet it isn't rattling and rocking like that fiat i did last year in the ram promaster that of course is actually a fiat but they call the ram promaster this is made in japan by japanese people who know what they're doing so we'll put it in reverse now this has the great system that a lot of the new ones have you can see, look, you don't just see behind you, you see around you. And I really love this because my driveway is designed like crap. And it's always hard to get out, but now I can get the whole picture over here and I can really see where I'm going without having to dig holes in my grass. That is a plus and it works quite well. But now that we're moving, you can see it shows you the speed of the car and a heads up display. Only the driver can see it. My wife sitting next to me can't see the speed. <laughs> they made it so the passenger can't see how fast you're going. I like that. Now we're in the insane intersection here. Wait till this guy's out of the way and we'll see how fast this thing can go. And it's got a nice acceleration. Now it's not overly stressed. You could make it go a lot faster if you wanted to. And I just felt the rumble because it has steering correction. We'll go over here. Ah, it's rumbling again. If you go over to strip and you don't use your turn signal, now watch, I'll put the turn signal on. No, it won't rumble. <laughs> it's got a nice firm ride, but it's also smooth. For an SUV, it's got a pretty good ride, but I'm still blown away by the fact that it can get 40 miles a gallon on a highway in an SUV. And this is not a hybrid or an electric vehicle. This is a conventional gasoline vehicle. Very smooth when you're idling here. I love it. It doesn't have auto start stop, which is the most annoying thing. Hey, it got 40 miles a gallon on the highway. It gets good enough gas mileage. You don't need to turn your car off every time it comes to a stop because not only is it annoying, 95% of your wear is on engine startup. So if you keep starting it and stopping it, you're going to wear your engine out a lot faster. I got to say, it's a good looking vehicle, especially when the sun's coming up. Look at that glare. Hey, look, it's artistic. So what do I think? Well, you just watched the video. I pretty much summed it all up. 40 miles a gallon on the highway. He's got a 100,000 mile, 10 year bumper to bumper warranty that that dealership gave him. It's nice looking. It rides good. It's got a big enough 2.5 cylinder engine. It's not a race car. It gets phenomenal gas mileage. It's all wheel drive. The only thing he complained was the tires only lasted 20,000 miles from the factory. So other than that, he got it for list price. They didn't ream them and say, we're gonna charge you five, 10 grand more because we don't have any cars. And he recently bought it. So it's during the pandemic stuff. It's made in Japan by the Japanese where they make them better. If you wanna try one out, my advice is go road test one. Because if you're gonna buy an equivalent Toyota, eight to 15,000 more, and they might even mark it up on top of that. 
So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.